In this video, I'll tell you about Euler's method, which is a method for predicting values of quantities that are part of differential equations. In particular, Euler's method is based on the following idea. If you have two quantities, x and y, that vary together, then the amount of change in y, which is represented by the symbol delta y, can be approximated by taking the amount of change in x, which is represented by the symbol delta x, and multiplying by the rate of change of y with respect to x, which is represented here by the symbol y prime. To understand this relationship, let's use this with an example of a differential equation, which is sometimes called a rate equation. Let's use this idea to try to predict the growth of bacteria. Suppose you start off with a single bacterium, and then it reproduces. And then each of these reproduce and each of those reproduce, and each of those reproduce, and again, and again, and again. In this scenario, the number of bacteria grows more rapidly when there are more bacteria present. If B is the number of bacteria t days after they are introduced into an environment, then the differential equation b prime equals 0 0.693 times b models their growth, where this is measured in bacteria per hour. In particular, it shows us that when the number of bacteria is large, the rate of population growth is also large. Now, let's say we started with 10 bacteria. How could we figure out the number of bacteria after three hours have elapsed? Let's start by making a table to keep track of our work. We'll keep track of the number of days, the number of bacteria, and the rate at which the number of bacteria is growing. And we'll record our data each day until day three. We know that there were originally 10 bacteria, and our values for the rate are given by the formula b prime is equal to 0 0.693 times b. So if we use this value of b in the equation, we'll get that the number of bacteria is increasing at a rate of 6.93 bacteria per hour. Now, let's use the relationship we saw at the beginning of the video. We want to know how much does B change from zero to one hour, which is what this symbol represents. We just computed a value for B prime, and from zero to one hour, the amount of change in time is one hour. So if the number of bacteria is increasing at a rate of 6.93 bacteria per hour, and they do this for an entire hour, then we should get an additional 6.93 bacteria. And in our formula, multiplying tells us that there is an increase of 6.93 bacteria. Now, we have to be careful here. This is just an approximation rather than an exact value. This is because when we do this computation, we're assuming that the rate, b prime, stays constant for the entire hour. Now, this isn't telling us that there were 6.93 bacteria at one hour. It's giving us an approximation of how many were added. But what we can do is add this increase to the initial number of bacteria. That is, we can compute the number of bacteria at one hour by adding the change in the number of bacteria to the initial number of bacteria. And we know that there are 10 bacteria at zero hours, and we added 6.93 bacteria over the first elapsed hour, so there are 16.93 bacteria after one hour has elapsed. And we can repeat this process. If we wanted to compute the number of bacteria at t equals two hours, we'd need to know the number of bacteria present at one hour, which is 16.93, and how much b changes from t equals one to two hours. To compute this, we'll need to compute the rate at which b changes. We can use the value of b 16.93, in the differential equation, to find that the number of bacteria is changing at a rate of 11.73 bacteria per hour at hour one. We can use this in our formula, and from hour one to hour two, the amount of change in time is one hour. So this lets us compute the approximation that the number of bacteria increased by 11.73 bacteria between hours one and two. Incorporating this lets us add this change in the number of bacteria to the 16.93 that were already present to get a total of 
28.66 bacteria present at t equals 2 hours. And we could repeat this process again. To compute the number of bacteria at t equals 3 hours, we'd need the number of bacteria at t equals 2 hours, which is 28.66, and how much b changes from t equals 2 to 3 hours. We can use 28.66 in the differential equation to get B prime is 19.86 bacteria per hour at hour 2. We can use this in our formula. And from hour 2 to hour 3, the amount of change in time is 1 hour. So the number of bacteria increased by approximately 19.86 between hours 2 and 3. We can add this to the 28.66 that were already present to get a total of 48.52 bacteria present at t equals 3 hours. So this is how we can use Euler's method to approximate the number of bacteria present 3 hours after being introduced. To summarize, Euler's method is a technique for approximating the value of a quantity using a differential equation. In our example, we were given this relationship between the rate of change of the number of bacteria, and the number of bacteria present. We used this with the central relationship that allowed us to approximate the amount of change in the number of bacteria based on the rate of change and the amount of change in time. Then, when we wanted to know the number of bacteria at a given number of hours after they were introduced, we would start with the number of bacteria that were present one hour before, and then add the amount by which the number of bacteria changed.